Mary Grove exists uh, to help uh, abuse and neglect children. Mary Grove will serve more than 240 uh, individuals a year um, within our communities. I work primarily as a case manager in the jury, which is a transitional living department. Um, we help those that are homeless or those that are needing places to live um, develop independent living skills. When a resident comes to Mary Grove, um, they're lacking the stability, the structure, um, shelter, food, all of that. Mary Grove will provide clothing, uh, make sure that all of their needs are met. Um, we get them enrolled in school. Um, they get to utilize the um, psychiatric services. They have rec therapy. They have individual and group therapy. Um, we at the TLP and IOP assist them with jobs um, and making sure that they're able to maintain those jobs as well. That's where I came into contact with legal services is through them. We collaborate, they come out and they do um, presentations for our youth, um, teach them about legal issues. Sometimes they do one-on-ones with them, um, depending on the need. Um, they've helped us with um, disability applications, Medicaid applications. They've helped our youth with um, IEPs, individualized education plans. Uh, they've helped them with transportation to schools. I've had one um, here recently. When he came to us, he had to be out of his parents' home when he turned 18. He had nowhere else to go. Um, he was originally at a school that was not in our district. Um, he could not get transportation set up. He only had until maybe two months until graduation, and he would, he would be done. Um, the school district was refusing to pay for his transportation to and from. Um, legal services was contacted. Um, they got on, right on it. Um, he was able to uh, set up transportation within the next week and able to finish and graduate.